Hello guys, Danny here from Dan Sick. In today's video guys, I'm going to be bringing you a high-end CPU color review. This one's going to be of the Deep Call Gamer Storm Assassin 2. Now, this color is very similar to the actual uh, Dark Rock Pro 3 that I've already got installed on my test rig and was one of the recent colors that I did review. So this is a, a very uh, high-end uh, dual tower high-performance color. It does feature eight heat pipes and also a 140 and a 120 millimeter fan. So it does have the two fans there. And yeah, so in general, we're just gonna be having a look at the product. We're gonna see what you get in the box. Gonna go over the installation and then as always, go over the testing on the i7 4790K and also see how it fares at the 4.4 gigahertz overclock. So right there, video guys let's jump into it to get started inside the box on top you get all the mounting hardware needed this includes a solid metal backplate many bolts metal pieces and a syringe or thermal compound other accessories include a gamer storm badge a manual and a branded four pin fan hub of course you do also get the cooler itself with a 120 millimeter and 140 millimeter fan attached the cooler overall is packaged well with the inclusion of soft foam adding a sense of quality to the cooler Besides, even without testing, you know this is a premium product with it having a higher price tag. Onto the cooler itself, the cooler's design is a large dual tower cooler with dual fans. The total dimensions of the unit with both the fans attached is 167mm in height, 158mm in width and 143mm in length, so definitely not small. The total weight of the cooler with both fans attached is just under 1.5kg. The two towers feature many aluminium fins with a whopping 8 copper heat pipes passing through the two fin stacks. This is the first cooler I've checked out with 8 heat pipes, so it'll be more than interesting to see how it performs. Also, the base of this cooler is rather large, so it should be great on larger CPUs like Intel's LGA2011 processors. Overall, the build quality is excellent, and with the fancy design of the fin stacks, I really do think this cooler overall does look very nice. Moving on to the two included fans, Deep Cool includes a 120mm and a 140mm fan. These are premium fans and Deepcool do also sell these separately at many retailers like Amazon. The larger fan is rated to run at a maximum RPM of 1200, with the 120mm fan rated to run at 1400 RPM. Both fans have a minimum speed of 300 RPM, so this cooler should be very quiet throughout the range. Moving on to the installation of the Assassin 2, overall it was not bad. The manual is easy to understand and the mounting pieces are large enough for it not to be very tricky. Installation starts by prepping the backplate and slotting four screws through the appropriate holes, then to slide the rubber pads onto the backplate to secure these screws into place. Once you're done this, you can thread this through the CPU color holes on your motherboard and add the four plastic spaces. After this, you want to add the two mounting bars of the apparatus and secure these into place with the four included nuts. The last few steps are to add a little thermal compound and to place the CPU cooler onto the CPU. And finally you want to screw down the cooler with the retention plate and to reattach the larger fan to the cooler to complete the installation. Overall, nothing too tedious. Now I've gotten the installation out of the way, we can speak performance. As this cooler is a dual tower cooler, I decided to run the standard high performance benchmark. That's running the Adobe Premiere Pro video render test on the i7-4790K with all cores overclocked to 4.4 GHz with the automatic voltage. Now the cooler scored a relatively low temperature and overall makes sense for a cooler of this class. I also performed a test at 4 GHz for comparison. Although these results may not show this cooler is best in its class, the noise levels this cooler pushes out are pretty impressive. Now, considering the price, this is definitely impressive as many dual tower coolers do prioritise cooling performance over noise levels. When I release my high-end CPU cooler comparison video in the coming weeks, I'll be sure to compare this cooler to the Noctua NHD15, Reven Oconos, Be Quiet, Dark Rock Pro 3 and Cryorig R1, including a sound comparison. Overall, this and the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3 remain the quietest coolers I've tested to date. Anyhow, let's conclude. So guys, that's my review of the Gamer Storm Assassin 2. Overall, pretty damn good, and I would recommend it actually. It's a very high performance cooler. It's relatively quiet as well, so yes, yeah, it's, it's quite surprising how quiet this cooler is. Although they haven't included noise, um, tests uh, just simply because a lot of cool diseases are just really really quiet. I would really have to kind of um, well, I wouldn't really know what to do. The traffic outside, even though you probably can't hear it now, me doing sound tests, that's going to be one thing that I'll just make all of them sound the same. So I am kind of thinking out of a way of how to test all these components, but in my comparison video, as I mentioned, with a load of high-end coolers that I'm going to be testing, I will get sound tests in that actual video. But overall, fantastic color. I really do like the actual design. The one thing that does annoy me, though, is the red fans, because, quite frankly, you can't match these. You really can't match colored fans with every rig, because, you know, um, well, you just can't. I'm going to have a massive go at Deepcore for doing this, because, quite frankly, Reven have... 
Yellow fans and not to sure are renowned, well, they're kind of known in, in the industry for having poo poo brand fans. So, so I aren't going to go on a massive rant, but I would really like to see manufacturers in general use just black fans just simply because it just allows people to match um, all different components in the system. And if anything, I think it would actually help a company make more sales if the fans were black because more people tend to buy them. Maybe that's one reason the Hyper 212 Evo and Hyper 212X is popular because it's a black fan and matches all the other ones in your rig. Who knows? Um, but yeah, overall guys, fantastic colour. I would recommend it. As always, you find Amazon links in the gold description. You'll also find a link to um, Deepcore's website to find more specs and photos on the product. Um, yeah, that's about it. So thanks very much for watching guys and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.